Arjuna. As you know, how do we start the daily video? Bom dia! Good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. This one is Juna Taihutu. Juna with a little bit more energy. Juna Taihutu! <laughs> no, that's like, yeah, she, she looks like me. But that's Juna Taihutu, yes. And we are part of the Bitcoin family that four years ago, guys, sold literally everything we owned the house, the cars, the company. She sold her bike, her clothes everything else and we started traveling the world and now four years later still traveling the world coming to you guys from lagos in portugal do you like lagos yeah is it beautiful yeah we will talk about some bitcoin charts ethereum charts about the trade of the week talking about how the crypto banks now are swallowing all the normal banks and how every norwegian person now owns bitcoin but you will see this all in the video enjoy today's video guys Today filming with Juna. Juna, be honest. Do you like the car? Yeah, it's a little bit too much, but it's okay. Be your own bank. And I you like are. your t-shirt. Thank you. I live for Maluku. You can see that Juna is the one that is like fashionable. She has red shoes, red leathers. <laughs> She's only missing the red lipstick. Come, on, let's do the video. Bam! I am so exciting. And why am I exciting? This beauty. <laughs> She's joining me today. This is my middle daughter, Juna. She is 16 years old. 13. Oh shit, she's 13 years old. Yeah, I knew she was going to say it. She's 13 years old. And today, Juna will join me on this trip. So we both, the both of us, family, we are going to do a little bit talk about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. We are going to start with the family part. We love to talk about family as well, of course, because it's not just about crypto. That's why we zoom out in Bitcoin and zoom in at life every day. Yesterday, we tried to search for another place near Lagos where there are more families with children of her age. Did we find the place? Yeah, but there were no children of my age, more like two years and four years old. Yeah, younger kids. So that's the difficult part as our Bitcoin family traveling life we are always looking for these places where we can find other families with same age kids but we have a problem the problem is that other families are not as crazy as us and they just live in a normal house and with their normal jobs and all the normal things in life wow almost run over by this electric bike that you can't hear driving but yes not many families are crazy like us are we crazy or just normal just a little bit yeah like a little bit and, and Juna likes also to live in the Netherlands now and then. Yeah, because there I have my friends and my grandma and grandpa, family. Yeah, so that's why we sometimes go to the Netherlands, but we search all over the world for places where we can connect. Maybe, Juna, maybe we should start an own village, like with a few houses, yeah. and then invite other families with same age kids start his own village with his own currency called like family token uh, we already have that one ding is that something yeah that's fun that's cool i think so if there is a family out there with kids of 15 13 years old preferable beautiful boys handsome boys because she digs boys then do comment below or do visit us here in lagos portugal yeah there were not many families yesterday but there was one really cool thing what did we eat yesterday juna Indonesian food. Yes, what did you eat? Satay ayam yeah. and I had nasi goreng and that's really cool because if you look at Juna's shirt it's like Ali Furu Maluku which means do you know what it means? That we are from the Maluku. Malacan Islands. The original people of the Malacan Islands are Ali Furu Maluku. We need to cross this railway. Arjuna, let's do a game. Okay. You're going to stand and wait for the next train and on the last minute you're going to jump away. Okay. You're going to do that? Let's do it. Uh, yeah, you, that's like, um, that's not safe. 
when I was younger, I went, went to this place where the railway was. We put our ear on the railway to hear if the train was coming. Because you can hear it like from a far distance. And guys, to celebrate that Juna is joining me today, I am of course going to hide a QR code somewhere in the video. And if you find the QR code, five of you, five, the first five that find the QR code will get 100 family tokens. That was enough family. Now we are going into the Bitcoin part where I will talk a little bit about some charts. At the moment, guys, we are hovering around 11,500 US dollar. Like you can see on this chart, bam, Juna. Yeah. I know, you're new. Every time I say chart, we do bam. Oh, okay. Just that you know. Yeah. I need to do this pre-educational part before I do a video. But, so let's take a look at the first chart. One, two, three, bam! And on this chart, guys, you can see that the Bitcoin price is around 11,500. And the biggest resistance is around 11,600 to 11,800 US dollar per Bitcoin. That's a lot of dollars. Yeah. What's your goal? 10 million. <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> You know, she exactly knew 10 million was the amount of Bitcoin family tokens that are out there. We exactly have 10 million tokens, so make sure you get some tokens. But yes, the price is around 11,500 US dollar and the major resistance 11,600 to 11,800 US dollar. This is the region we need to break. If we are able to break this region, we will take it to the 12K region and then from the 12k region we can fall back all the way down back to 10k but no stressing no freaking out zooming out because we go at ups and downs and then from the 10k again we will take it all the way up to 12k 14k 16k 20k before you know it 100k and before you know it 1 million and then she is owning one bitcoin and she is a millionaire when you're a millionaire a lot of boys will dig you they will all I come. need millionaire boys. <laughs> <laughs> but I will leave the biggest uh, TA of Bitcoin and Ethereum up to Elisa. I will add the part of Lisa explaining everything what's going to happen in Bitcoin and Ethereum and the trade of the week in this video as well. But I have one more chart to share with you guys and this chart is all about the 13 slash 14k level. Why Didi are you already talking about the 13 slash 14k level? Because I believe we are going to go to that level very soon. And this is a very important level to break. If you look to this chart, one, two, three, two, bam. bam! On this chart, you can see this vertical line. This is the resistance line of 13K. If you look to the left on the chart, that way, that's the left. If you look to the left, you can see that in 2018, exactly when we tried to break the 13K again, after we reached 18K, we fell down. Then we tried to, take, to break 13K, we didn't succeed. We fell down to 6K, even later to 3K. Then in 2019, we again tried to break the 13K level. And again, once, twice, no. Bam! Back to 3K. And now in 2020, we are doing the same. We already tested the 12,400 level, almost 13K again. And we are going to test this 13K again in the next couple of weeks. And then it is exciting to see if we are able to break 13K and take it up to 14K, 16K and even 20K, or that we again will fall back all the way down to 3K. I don't see this happening. We don't hope that this is going to happen. I think we will create a new all-time high around Christmas and of course see a natural and healthy correction after this in January or February, but then again pick it up and create the new, new, new all-time high at the end of this bull run around 100k in 2021. That would be so beautiful. If Bitcoin reaches 100k, we are going to do shopping. Yeah. What would you buy? Everything. <laughs> With 100k, you cannot buy everything. What is the first thing you're going to buy? Makeup or clothes. I love my kids. They don't choose for a, for a car or a motorbike, makeup or clothes. I love you. Love you too. Long time. <laughs> Do you want to stay on the beach or so we walk back home? Walk back home. Yeah, we're going to watch some Netflix. Which series? Jane Virgin. What is the new one? Is Jane still virgin or what is no. It's not a virgin. No. So why did you call it Jane the Virgin? It's a really long story. A long story. I need to watch it. Yeah. Okay. So let's give some space for Lisa. And how do we do this? We do it with one, two, three. Yeah. Bam. There's no hey, hey, hey this week, people. But there is faster, stronger, louder. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> the Britney dance. <laughs> oh, my God. Crypto is really going crazy now. 
She can't even dance. Oh my God. Are you serious? Didn't you see this, Lisa? No. 250,000 okay. views already. No, half a million, mate. Right. Blue, blue, blue. Like, blue, blue. No. Smarter, faster, stronger, longer, longer. He hits Bitcoin harder, harder, smarter, smarter. Seriously. Lisa, you need to upgrade your game. <laughs> no, please kill me if I ever do this. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm serious. Like, what the I've fuck is a, this? I've got half a million, 20 views so far. Why? I, I think it's all a marketing stunt and a joke because nobody moves that bad. Like, it's like... No, I, look, like, I don't know. I, but I, I literally got sent that five minutes ago. So it's the first time I, I, I've seen it. I had a very quick look at her uh, at a website. She does hula hoop fitness videos. I'm going to start today with Link, which is... Um, Everyone on Twitter was telling me when I put this chart up and I, I had my little star here and they were telling me, no, Link's going to $5. And I'm like, mm, it didn't. <laughs> so it's, um, it's just hit my target today, which I'm very excited about. So uh, first target, which is here, we're at $11.00 and 25 cents and we should hold around here and continue up so uh link has predominantly in the market moved first before bitcoin has so that's it's always a good indicator uh it used to be litecoin now it tends to be link sort of moving off first so it's looking really good really strong and uh some nice movement here and yeah, so this uh, brings us into Bitcoin and what we're seeing here. So first target for Bitcoin was smashed through over the weekend. We are currently in the, the midst of forming a bull flag. So um, which pretty much looks like this. We've got well, put some little dotty lines on. So right about now and we should take off to the second target. So um, 12,000 is a very, very strong resistance at this point. Um, as I showed you last week, it goes straight across. So from the all-time high straight across, we've, we've got that strong, strong resistance at 12,000. Um, so if my pattern's correct, which is this is the pattern that I'm trading right now, uh, we should get to 12,000. It should be the B wave and will come plummeting down for this C wave. So um, I really think that this wave will be one of those massive big tidal waves where it just sort of crashes down. So if we, we see sort of, you know, it hit this resistance point here and we came down. So we had a 3,000, 2,000-ish 2, crash in, you know, literally I think about, an hour to half an hour or something it was massive so we should have something similar to that that's what the whales and the exchanges like to do it takes out all the stops it takes out all the leverage trades and it just comes crashing down so if i was uh trading which i am I've already placed an order. <laughs> so um, I've got a, a couple of orders sort of sitting around the sort of the $10,300 mark. I've got a couple of lower orders for Wix around the $10,100 mark. And they've been waiting there. So exchanges fill orders in uh, orders of when they're placed. So I've had those orders sitting there for probably about three or four weeks now. Just, just talk me through that again one more time. Okay. <laughs> Charlotte's expecting to lose again. <laughs> I'm, I'm about, I'm, 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 I'm copy trading you on Prime, but I'm also about placing a few of my own uh, positions here. So what? Yeah. We should hold around this range. I don't see the drop at the moment being very massive. We're going to continue up to around 12,000 or just under 12,000. I right. think we won't break through that 12,000 mark. Um, and then we're going to have a tight, what I like to call a tidal wave, which is these massive, big, just, you know, really fast, swift drops. 
and for our our sea wave which will sort of take us from 12,000 down to about 10,300 ish so you know we've got that sort of you know 1500 to 1700 dollar drop we'll probably we could even go two thousand dollars here because um you know we could go break through down with a wick so and that's you know not unheard of when the market does have those big sort of crashes um I don't think we've got enough waves as yet to continue through. Stranger things have happened. So um, at this point, I will be raising stops and not selling in case we do break through. So, you know, that's that's a strategy that we can often use. You know, if, if I don't make, you know, if I lose $100 or so per Bitcoin, so be it. But um, potentially you can gain much more if we're to continue through to say, you know, 13, 14,000, which is another possibility. So, um, you know, if we have completed this correction here um, and we're continuing through with our, our upper target here, you know, 16,000. So potentially the next wave up is about 13,800. So, yeah, so if we have completed the correction and we're going up 13,800. If not, I'll be raising my stop to close to this resistance region here. And I've got some lower orders already placed um, between 10,100 and 10,300. Again, we're not filling the gap. Uh, there's, there's lots of Ethereum being bought again at the moment and being moved to Uniswap. If you follow whale calls um, on Twitter, you'll see all the Ethereum that's getting like bought up at the moment and moving across to Uniswap, which really makes me think that um, we're going into this, this next major wave. So with alts and with uh, Bitcoin and with Ethereum. So uh, we're seeing that they're holding patterns like in support, key support regions like uh, Ethereum did here, we held it, uh, the MAs. Uh, we're now above the 100 MA on this 12 hour chart and we're, we're holding that as support right now. So that should continue up. Um, we'll get this kind of sideways movement here and then continue up to our 400 and sort of 50 ish target on Ethereum for the, the short sort of period that we're in now. And then, you know, we should get another a drop and we'll probably see, you know, maybe about a hundred dollar drop on Ethereum at this point, if we don't continue through. So there, you know, there's two patterns here. So we could continue through on Ethereum and, and head up to sort of 552, um, which would be in line with Bitcoin continuing up or we've got that sharp drop sort of coming. So again, um, how I'm going to be trading this is I'll just be pushing my stop into profits. This is this is Cody. So uh, this is another Binance one. So it had also had a falling wedge. It's broken out today. It's looking really good for these upper targets. Um, we've retested the wedge and we are going to take off. So all the alts are really starting to look really nice at the moment and really start to move. So Cody is my trade of the week. Hope you enjoyed Lisa. That were all the charts for today. Now we are going to move to the next subject. And the next subject, guys, is the blockchain slash news part of this video. So let's talk about some news. The first news, guys, I want to talk to you about is about crypto banks and fiat banks. Is there a difference? Yes, there's a huge difference. A crypto bank is fully supportive into crypto, like Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum and all the other cryptocurrencies. For example, Kraken. Kraken is now the official first American crypto bank. Yes, they all offer all the products of crypto, but they are now legally allowed to offer all the traditional banking products as well. So Kraken for example, could um, hand out loans. I think, guys, that if these old-fashioned fiat banks are not embracing cryptocurrency and not growing with the flow, they will slowly be swallowed by all these crypto banks like Kraken, and in the Netherlands now we had AdMax or something like this. Why? Because, you know, just look back to the 90s. We had this beautiful um, company called Kodak. They were the biggest when it comes to photo cameras and everything. They didn't want to go digital. So they lost all their market share to all these news companies. Or let's take Nokia in the telephone business. Do you even know Nokia? Yeah. So Nokia, yeah, they were the leading company. Till iPhone came, until all these other phones came. They were like 
integrating the internet into the telephone. So that's why Nokia lost all of their market share. So there are many examples of the past that if companies don't grow and evolve into these new revolutionary products, they will lose. So these banks need to evolve and need, need to include Bitcoin into their whole package because else they will just die and they will be swallowed by all the crypto banks. And I think that's a very positive thing because we need a change in the world of banks. Do you like banks? No. Ooh, she doesn't like banks. <laughs> It is very windy and yes, we just again crossed the railroad without being killed by a uh, train. Um, yes, we don't want to be uh, killed by a train because if you look at the history of Maluku, um, we don't have a very nice history with trains in the Netherlands. Just Google it and you will understand what I'm saying. Another news item I want to talk to you guys about is about Norway and Bitcoins. Because did you know that every Norwegian person now automatically owns Bitcoins without that they even know they own Bitcoin. How does it work? You know the company MicroStrategy, they bought a shitload of Bitcoins in the last couple of months. The Norwegian Pension Fund, the governmental Norwegian Pension Fund, they own a 2% stake in the company MicroStrategy. So a huge part of this pension fund is now invested into Bitcoins, which means that every Norwegian citizen now owns $1.76 in Bitcoin if we calculate all the things through. Really cool, isn't it? So now it's working the other way around. Telling people, oh, Bitcoin is a scam. No, governments are already buying into Bitcoin without even knowing that they are buying into Bitcoin. And this, I think, will happen more and more in the future. More and more governments will need to buy into Bitcoin with their pension funds to even be able to pay their people a pension in the future. That was all for today. Do you want to add something, Juna? No. Nothing? No. Nothing. You, you don't want to tell the audience, oh, my dad is awesome. No, because that's not true. Just uh, kidding. Oh, real. Fuck. Yeah, awesome. uh, she almost broke my heart. Did you see my face? <laughs> Shit, that was real. Oh, I'm so happy she was there today. But guys, we are really thankful you watched this video. So if you did like the video, please give the video a thumbs, thumbs up, up, share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave the comment because I love to respond to your comments. Did I do that in a good way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Daddy is getting better and better at YouTuber. Eh? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the best YouTuber in the world. Yeah. But not the subjects he likes. Let's talk about boys. Okay. Would it be interesting then? Yeah. Okay, what kind of boys do you like? Dominican boys. Dominican boys? With green eyes, brown hair, green. taller than me. That's not difficult. Oh! <laughs> so green eyes, brown hair, Dominican. Okay, so next trip, go to Aruba, Dominicana and everything in the South Caribbean. Fawaka, my brother, how are you? Is that how he talks? Yeah. Can you talk Dominican? No. A little bit, because you listen to all the Dominican rap songs. No. Duku Duku means money money or in the future Duku Duku is Bitcoin Bitcoin. Always remember guys to zoom out in crypto and to zoom oh, in at life. Try to enjoy life every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living and why it is fun to do these kind of things with the kids even if they don't like it. Just force them, they will like it in the end. <laughs> Thank you for watching and enjoy, enjoy your day and see you tomorrow again. Bye.